Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this session, we will talk about very interesting and unique concept available in the Dart and that is called mixing. So before we start the video, let's look at the topic that we are going to discuss in this session. We will start from what is mixing, then we will learn how to create mixing in the Dart. Thereafter, we will talk about how to use mixing inside the class. Then we will talk about the practical use of mixing. Here I will explain a real life example and that will help you to understand what is the best situation where mixing can be used in a program. After that, we will talk about different features of mixing. Here I will talk about the things that we can do with the mixing and the things that we cannot do using the mixing. And at the end of this video, I will talk about how we can limit the use of mixing for specific classes. Understanding a mixing involves the use of three different keywords and these are mixing, weight and on. Now to learn all these things, without wasting time, let's get started. Let's start from the first point, what is mixing? Basically, mixings in Dart are the way of using code of a class again in multiple class hierarchies. Synthetically, mixings are very much similar to class. There are lots of similarities between mixing and class. However, there are lots of differences. So what it is, we'll discuss in this same session. So as we can say, uh, mixing is a type of class that is similar to class. We can say uh, mixing is a class whose methods and properties can be used by other classes without subclassing. When we have a regular class, whether it's abstract class or concrete class, to use its properties, it has to be extended in a subclass. But when we have mixing, Without extending a mixing, it's possible that we can use its properties or methods inside a class whatever we want. Now, how it is done, we'll discuss all these things in this video itself. If you look at technically or the coding point of view, you will observe that mixing is a reusable chunk of code that can be plugged into any class that needs this functionality. Let's understand how to create mixing in a Dart. Dart allows us to create mixing in two different ways. First one is by using a regular class. So whatever class we have, whether it's an abstract class or concrete class, that can be used as a mixing in a Dart and that's really a surprising thing. But there are two strong restrictions the class has to follow. First one is there should not be any constructor in the class. And second, the class should not extend any other class other than object. We know that by default a class extends object class and that's fine. But other than object, if your class is extending some other class, so it's not allowed. But if your class is following these two different restrictions, then your class is good to go to work as mixing. So how class can be used as mixing? Let's understand this one with an example. We have a class called ABC that contains a method called void test and there is some message inside the test. So you can observe here, it's a class uh, that don't have a constructor. And as there is no extending of any other class, so by default it is extending object class as usual. We can observe here we have class demo and for using uh, this class ABC inside demo, I haven't used extend here. In fact, I use uh, the keyword called width. So what is this width and what is the use of this one? We we'll understand this one in the next session. So when we use this width ABC, it means I want to use this class ABC as the mixing for this demo and not as the class ABC itself. So that's the reason ABC will act as uh, the mixing for this class demo. So the method uh, test of this uh, mixing ABC will now come inside the demo. So you can observe here, in the main, I have the object of demo here and from that object, I'm just calling the method test. Let me uh, run this program and you will observe here, uh, by using this obj.test, that is by using the object of this demo, it is printing the message test from ABC class as mixing. Now let's talk about the another way of creating mixing, which is basically a pure way of creating mixing and that is using the mixing keyword. That is given the keyword called mixing and that allows us to create a mixing explicitly in a program. For that, we simply have to use called, uh, the keyword called mixing. Then we have to define the name of mixing. Thereafter, we have to place opening and closing curly bracket. And entire definition of mixing is placed within the pair of brackets. Now you can observe here, this complete syntax looks like the syntax of the class. Now the thing is, what we can place inside this mixing and what we cannot, We'll discuss all these things in the topic called properties of mixing. After creating mixing, now it's time to use mixing practically in a class. So for this purpose, Dart has given a keyword called width to use a mixing inside a class. Now remember, we have extend keyword 
to extend a class inside a subclass. We have the keyword called implements to use interface inside a class. And in the same way, that is given a special keyword called with whenever we want to use a mixing inside a class. So whether we have a mixing made using the explicit mixing keyword or whether we have a class as a mixing itself, for using uh, both these, uh, that has the keyword with here. So we have to use simply a class, whatever we have. And the class that wants to use mixing, simply we have to use the keyword called with. And thereafter, we have to place the name of mixing here. Then the definition of class goes after this opening and closing curly bracket means inside these brackets. So whatever thing this mixing will have, all these things will now come inside the properties of this class itself. One good news with mixing is it's possible for a class to use multiple mixings inside it. For this, we have to use a class keyword, then just define your class, then we have to use a with keyword, and after this with keyword, we have to write the name of mixings that we want to use inside the class. For example, we can write mixing1, comma mixing2, comma mixing3, dot dot dot, and the mixing n. Now, the properties of all these mixings will now come inside the specific class. Now, you might be wondering, it is looking similar to interface. So, you might have a question, uh, whether mixing is similar to interface? I will say no. When we implement multiple interfaces in a class, basically, we are not getting complete definition of method. Okay, from interface, we'll get only the abstract method signature. But good news with mixing is, whenever we use multiple mixings inside a class, from all those mixings, the complete method definition from the mixing will come inside the class. And that's really a surprising and interesting thing. Now, this will create a big question in your mind. What if, if multiple mixings will have the same name method? So, <laughs> will that use error or how that handle that things? So to understand all these things, uh, I will create a separate video. Basically, it's the next video. And uh, in that video, I will talk about 20 different questions and doubts related to mixing. Let's talk about the practical use of mixing. Consider I want to create a system that represents or manages a car. Basically, I'm talking about single car that comes in three different variants. And to represent these three different variants, I have total three classes here. The class called petrol car is managing the petrol variant of the car that has a method called feature that represents the features of this car. Then it has two methods say petrol engine and needs petrol. And there are some other methods which only a petrol car can have. We have a class called electric car which is actually representing the electric variant of the same car. It has again a method called features and there are two methods that represents uh, the electric motor and needs battery. Again it can have its own feature that only the electric car can have. Uh, we have a class called hybrid car that represent a hybrid kind of car. For those who don't know what is this hybrid car, it is a kind of car that has uh, both the petrol engine and electric motor that works on battery. So that uh, based on the requirement, we can use petrol engine or the electric motor to run on the battery. This car basically has a method called feature that's again representing the features of this hybrid car. Then it has the petrol engine and needs petrol uh, that will make it as the petrol car. And we have the method called electric motor and needs battery that will make it as the uh, just the electric car. So using this whole method, this is actually working as the hybrid car. Now we can observe here uh, the method called feature is repeated in these three different classes and which is not actually a good program practice. Now what we can suggest, we can suggest me or the OP will suggest me that we have to create a special class. Inside that class, we have to define a method called feature and this class has to be extended in all these three classes. And let me do the same thing. So for this, what I will do here, I will define abstract class. Let's say I will write here abstract say class and I will name this class as a car. And what we have to do, we have to cut this method from this petrol car. So let's delete it from here, paste it inside the petrol car, sorry, inside the car. Okay, that's fine. And here we have to write extends car and we are good to go. Now, same thing has to be done inside the electric car so let me paste your extends car let me delete these features method from here that's fine and with the habit car we have to do same thing again let's use extends car and we have to just delete this feature method and now we are good to go now after this we have a big challenge and <laughs> let's understand what it is uh, we have a method called petrol engine and, and needs petrol these two methods are also present inside the habit car so uh, what is what is happening here? These two methods are repeated in the petrol car inside the hybrid car. So what you can do, we can simply cut this method and we can paste it inside the car. So let me do that here. Okay, just listen me carefully. So I have done here. Now what will happen here? As we are just pasting it inside the car, that's fine. 
so your petrol car has got this method and your hybrid car will also get this method that's fine but unnecessarily your electric car is getting the method petrol engine and we needs petrol and that's completely wrong so that should not happen so let me just undo and go back to my previous code that's fine now now uh, what is the next thing uh, you can suggest me that why not to create a class okay let's do let's say let's use some class for example test that i use regularly in my code and why not to paste this method here okay and why don't you use this class based inside the petrol car and inside the hybrid car but observable thing here is a petrol car uh, the class called petrol car already has expanded uh, the class called car and as the rule of uh, op or with the dart uh, we cannot extend multiple classes inside uh, the uh, class so that's why if we are extending car class we don't have a chance to extend some other class so we don't have this chance to extend uh, means for writing a class and to do, just add the methods there so we don't have that chance now you can suggest me why not to go with interface okay i should create some interface and i have to place that meta here and i can implement this interface inside the petrol car and use the same interface inside the hybrid car and your problem is solved i will say no it's not going to solve my problem because when we use interface what will happen uh, if i define the methods here and if i use interface so for this petrol car and hybrid car i am not getting the method definition rather i am just getting uh, the force or i am just bind it to just override the methods here and i need to define the method explicitly inside petrol car and inside the hybrid car means i am not reusing the methods okay i just have to implement different methods in in just uh, different classes and that's not uh, the thing that i want to do here now you can observe here uh, neither a class nor uh, the interface is useful to solve this situation and guys believe me this is the base place where we can use a mixing so how we can use that one listen me carefully what i will do here i will define a mixing let's say we have to write here mixing then i will name this mixing and say a petrol variant so let me write here petrol variant now inside this mixing called petrol variant what i will do i need to just cut this method from here and i have to paste this method here and that's fine now what i will do here for using the methods petrol engine and needs petrol i will use here extend car and i will write here with say petrol variant and that's fine now what is happening here from this car class i'm getting the method called features and with petrol variant i'm getting these two methods inside the class called petrol car now same thing has to be done with the hybrid car so let me copy this to save my time and let's delete these two methods from here and we have to write here let's say with petrol variant and we are good to go now again we have same problem with these two methods electric motor and the uh, needs battery so to solve this again we can use another mixing so let me define mixing here so we can write here mixing then let's name this as electric variant so electric variant and inside this electric variant mixing let me cut these two methods from here and let's paste it here that's fine let me just format a little bit and here we can write with say electric variant now you can observe here by using this extends car we are getting the method called features here and with electric variant we are getting the method electric motor and needs battery and that's fine inside this electric car now these two methods are again required inside the hybrid car class now how we can do that one so as we know that it's possible for one class to extend or sorry to use multiple mixing so i will make the advantage of this thing let me add a comma here and let me just copy and paste the name of this mixing called electric variant my code is here completed let me just create objects of car inside domain so what i'm doing here simply i will write here let's say that car let's go with the petrol car so let's write here petrol car and you can observe here as we have a petrol car and when i use let's say car or something we will observe here we are getting method called features that is coming from the car class then we have the needs petrol and petrol engine uh, both these methods are coming from the mixing called petrol variant and on other hand if i change it to say let's say electric car let's write electric car now you will observe here uh, with this car object uh, we can use the method called features which is again coming from the uh, car class then we have the electric motor and needs battery which are coming from the uh, mixing called electric variant finally when i use hybrid car here let me change it to say hybrid car let's write a hybrid hybrid car now you will observe here with this car object 
we can use the method called features that is coming from the car class again then we have the method called petrol engine and needs petrol these are coming from the mixing called petrol variant and the methods electric motor and needs battery they are coming from the mixing called electric variant so you think this example is really helpful for you and it really help you to understand uh, mixing very well so don't forget to like and just make a comment for this one let's talk about different features of mixing as i told you for understanding these features we'll divide this in two part the first one is with the things that we can do with the mixing means the things which are allowed for the mixing and second one the things which are not allowed for the mixing let's start from the things which are allowed with the mixing we can create both the instance variable and static variable inside the mixing for using the instance variable we must have to use a class means there has to be a class that uses the mixing and by using the object of that class the instance variable can be used you might have a question why this has to be done this is simply because we cannot create object of mixing that's why we cannot use or access the instance variables of mixing directly so it has to be accessed by the class that uses a mixing now uh, the static members or static variables of mixing can be simply used by using the mixing name dot uh, variable name in the same way we use the static variables of class mixing can have the concrete methods abstract method and the static methods so static method can be simply used by using the mixing name dot the method name that's fine uh, when mixing has abstract methods and the class that uses the mixing so it's a responsibility of that class to implement or to overwrite all the methods present in the mixing means all the abstract method present in the mixing and the concrete methods has to be used by the object of the class that uses the mixing mixing can have a constant uh, which can be made both by using the const keyword as well as the final mixing can implement another interface and that's completely fine but however mixing cannot extend a class we'll talk about that one in the section the things which are not allowed in the mixing but just remember mixing can implement interface so whenever it is implementing interface so it is the responsibility of mixing to implement all the methods present in that interface mixing can use the super keyword but however as mixing cannot extend other class than the object class so we are just limited means we are limited to use only the members of uh, object class by means of the super keyword you might have a question can we access members of interface inside a mixing using super keyword i will say no it's not possible okay only the members of object class can be used uh, by using the super keyword a class that uses mixing for that class it's possible to use all the members of mixing by using the super keyword this keyword is allowed inside the mixing means whatever methods we have inside the mixing okay except the static methods it's possible to use this keyword then mixing can be implemented by a class so as we have seen we can use mixing with with keyword so whenever we use with keyword for using mixing means we want to use all the properties and methods of mixing inside a class but it's possible that we can use mixing as an interface so for using mixing as the interface instead of using with keyword we would use implements keyword in this case your mixing will use or it will act as interface for the class more than one mixing can be used inside a class and we already seen that one inside the practical use of mixing now let's talk about the things which are not allowed for the mixing we cannot define any explicit constructor inside the mixing mixing can't be instantiated means we cannot create object of mixing mixing cannot extend any class other than object by default object class gets extended inside the mixing but we are not allowed to write explicitly extending any class inside the mixing mixing can't be extended however it can be implemented or we can use with keyword for using the mixing but not the extend keyword we cannot use mixing in the irrelevant class when use of mixing is limited means when we limit the use of mixing for specific class so for that class means for that specific classes or its sub classes the mixing can be used but for other than that classes we cannot use the mixing then the class uh, on which means whenever we use on keyword for that specific class so for that specific class we cannot use a mixing other than that class means for their sub classes we can use a mixing but not for that specific class uh, used uh, on the on keyword so what these two points are uh, we'll just just discuss all these two points uh, practically in the next topic let's start the next topic so this topic is about how we can limit the use of mixing for the specific classes we have a mixing called speak that contains a method called speaking you can observe here this mixing speak is used inside a class called human inside a man inside a dog and inside a cat as well so this mixing 
don't have any restriction means we can use this speak mixing on any class but consider i just want to just restrict this speak method on the class called human means whatever subclasses of humans are there only those subclasses can use this mixing so what we can do simply we have to use keyword called on so that has given call, that has given a keyword called on i will use here let's say on and i will write here human so whenever we use say speak on human it means the use of mixing is limited for only the classes which are the subclasses of this human class now what you can observe here so first of all i have to just delete here let's say with speaking and here i can write let's say class main let's say extends human now you can observe here this main class is extending a human class that's the reason it's now a subclass of human so whatever human subclasses are there uh, for those subclasses it's possible to use speak because we have just restricted the use of this speak missing for only human subclasses that's why it's allowed and you can observe here the dog and cat uh, these two classes will have the error because uh, the use of this mixing is uh, mixing is restricted here now i think it's very much clear for you what do you mean by mixing cannot be used by irrelevant classes when use of mixing is limited you can observe here for this mixing called speak human means the main is a relevant class but dog and cat these are the irrelevant classes that's why it cannot be used and let me talk about very interesting point here let's say if i use uh, say class human with say, speak now you can observe here i'm getting error this is because when we have class specified on with the mixing for that specific class we cannot use a mixing so it has to be used by subclasses not by the exactly same class specified using the on keyword that's it for this video see you guys in the next video where i will talk about 20 different questions or doubts related to mixing and if you really found this video helpful then don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos